This segment is about documenting your models, which I probably can't say enough about. For two reasons. If you want other people to understand your models, you have, you have to give them assistance. You have to provide comments so that they can actually follow something other than just a wiring diagram with what are often cryptic labels associated with them. And you'll actually be surprised what it is that you manage to forget over time so that while you are currently creating a model, it may be completely understandable, but if you look at it next month or six months or a year from now, you'd be surprised how much of the thoughts that were current at the point in time that you were creating the model have sort of evaporated in time. The nice thing is that Insight Maker allows you to add comments to every primitive that's, that's in the model so that if you c click on an item, if you notice over here in the, in the configuration panel, there's a note field, and you can type in this note field. But if you click on it, notice that there's a down arrow. If you click on that, it opens a note editor window where you can type an expanded note that explains what that label is supposed to mean. You can also select that by doing a control period to open the note window. And there are a number of text editing features here, and this is so that you can actually include hyperlinks in this if appropriate. And once you add a note to a primitive, when you mouse over it, notice there's this little eye that shows up. So that if there's a question about what the particular variable means, you can simply click on it and read the description. And you should also document your loops so that the loop indicator, this is a balancing loop, it says that the this particular loop is attempting to create a balance between the current water temperature and the desired water temperature. And here I actually added a, a picture. Notice that this is a, a picture primitive with a note image attached to it and simply uh, sort of directions about going ahead and running this model so that you run it and you continue to increase the the time delay over time to to see how it has an impact and when you when you create your labels you should make sure that they're they're directionless noun or noun phrases none of this in increasing temperature decreasing temperature the or um you don't want to confuse people with the labels. You want the labels to be as short and distinct as possible, and you elaborate them in the description. And so that's what's appropriate. I mean, the documentation is sort of to save you. The other thing that you might find interesting is in there's another course, course called Storytelling in Insight Maker, which explains how to take a model such as this and turn it into a story so that someone who, inter who you send the URL to can simply step through and it will tell them a story at the bottom about this particular model or, or and also it explains how to take a model such as this and turn it into a standard web page that someone can simply read with all of the graphs displayed as it runs the model. The course also talks about how to turn the, the storytelling in, into a video, such as this one. So in, in case that is of additional interest. So as I said, document your model. Document it for you. Document it for others so that they have a better chance of understanding it. And I'll see you in the next segment. Bye.